Hello everyone, Attack Power here with a big new announcement coming to Steel Division 2, a new gigantic expansion. Let's dive right in. Alrighty, so I was not planning to record. I'm, I'm, I'm out with family for the weekend, so, but I happen to have my computer side. I always bring it just in case. <laughs> so apologies for the bad audio quality today. But, you know, I saw this announcement. I was like, I have to, I need to, I need to make a video about it right now. Um, so... Steel Division 2 is getting another major expansion. I am so excited. And this one looks super interesting and a lot more unique than many of our other ones. Uh, so let, let's dive right in here. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Steel Division 2 content. Now, a new major expansion. Steel Division 2 Men of Steel is the next big chapter. Okay, we are strong four years. Yes, please keep staying strong. Uh, major expansion, we have all corners. Are, oh, so interesting. So we have eight new divisions from seven nations, including a brand new minor. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be so sick. Uh, let's see here, 12, 12 new nations. So with units from 12 nations and total new aces, don't care about that, new unit traits. Oh, so traits are like the things like Raider, Fanatical, um, things things like that which I, i'm a personally a big fan of disheartened those kind of things i think they do add some nice flavor to the game and, and make you work a little bit harder to balance all your troops and stuff uh so right here is a clue already to what we may be looking forward to i know a lot of people are constantly asking for big red one um the americans right here so we have american division for sure in this one and, and big run one's high on the list of ones that people ask for all the time so i wouldn't be surprised because the cool thing is um Oh, let's see here. In, in size, this expansion follows the lines of other previous, so we're getting eight, so four on each side, most likely. But unlike these other expansions, they don't focus on a specific theater of war, which is awesome, which means they can pull divisions from anywhere in this time frame, like 1944-45 in World War II, which is freaking insanely great. Um, so, you know, anything's possible here. Now, I doubt they're doing Japanese divisions. Everyone right away asked for those. They don't make sense in this game. The Japanese were not equipped they just weren't equipped to fight in Europe. They don't They don't have the right... They would just get run over. Um, or it would be like NOV level of stuff. I mean, that would be the only conceptual way I could see it. But I I doubt with the scope of that, because it, it, it's you know, it's one new minor nation. Japan wouldn't really be a minor nation. Uh, I, I'm going to guess Bulgaria uh, is very likely here. So Bulgarian uh, division might be possible. Uh, I'm trying to think of... Any other minor uh, nations that could be thrown in the mix here? Um, uh, maybe Norwegian? I, I don't even... Denmark? Belgium? Uh, these are all possibilities, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I, I strongly doubt any sort of Japanese division, um, which I know people will ask immediately for. That's It just doesn't make sense in this game. Um, so new uh, unit trait system is the big other big thing. Uh, so it's something that they've been developing in Warno. You can see it here, Warno, um, the unit traits, the trait system, which again is already in Steel Division 2. It's not new. It's just going to get ex significantly expanded, um, which is definitely cool. I I'm definitely, a f I'm, I'm a fan personally. Again, new stuff is always fun. My only worry, my only concern with this is if they somehow break the game or ruin the nice, we have a really nice balance in this game right now. You can play essentially any division you'd like to some amount of success. Uh, I really hope the addition of traits, because they they said here, um, uh, you, you know, uh, not only in the new battle groups, but retrofitted to existing divisions for uh, in a free update. So, like, they're going to be adding this to all kinds of divisions. I really hope this does not completely destroy the balance of this game. Um, and and I, I'm, I'm assuming it's mostly going to be infantry being affected, because that's where a lot of the traits end up, um, you know, are the infantry. So I, I'm really hoping this doesn't screw things up too hard. I, I'm hoping it's a net positive. I definitely think it'll be cool. So here's an example of a couple. I don't think this is all of them. Uh, shock, this trait will inflict more suppression at enemy at close range. So any sort of like Rangers, Brandenburgers will all have that. And then, or dedicated assault troops or Stern Pioneers up to. So all of those CQC units are going to have this trait. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest with you. So here's the thing. Those units already win at close range. Like, that's what they're supposed to do. You know, these guys run up against infantry squads or riflemen squads, you know, rifle squads, and they beat them pretty regularly. It's not usually like a who's going to win sort of thing. So the addition of this trade on top of their already way more powerful CQC loadout seems uh, maybe overboard. 
This 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 could lead to ver a very unnecessarily strong CQC set of troops, uh, where there's just absolutely no chance for a, a rifle squad to ever fight them at close range, which you don't want to do anyway. But they at least kind of like can put up a fight. Uh, this might tip it too much. Tank Rider, units with this trait will get a suppression shield when fighting in close vicinity to vehicles, which is great. This is a good idea uh, because this, some many troops were designed to be near vehicles of some sort, and this will kind of drive that thematically home. So this is fine. This There's nothing wrong with this. This makes sense. Uh, security, trait applies to rear echelon security troops that typically fight partisans. This trait gives an optic bonus to re like you recon units, but only when the unit is not moving. This is great. This is another good one. This is not like game breaking. It's a nice little bonus to troops that quite frankly, aren't super strong or anything. Shikarung, Shupo, you know, these kind of units. Um, so, and they're not in like tons and tons of divisions. These guys like Sturm Pioneers and stuff are. Like this, again, the shock one really worries me. This one worries me a lot. Sniper. This one will get a stealth bonus when static. Makes sense. Yeah, I like it. One, two man. Okay, good. Because like the three, four man sniper teams are already really strong. So increasing their strength even further is a little excessive. So definitely a, the, I like these three. Really hesitant about the first one. This feels like it might be super unnecessary to me and may completely throw out the balance of the CQC versus not CQC units in the game. And then the rest is we have Jubilee League season, season 10 here from Protoss. If you are not in the SDL League on uh, Discord, you definitely should go check that out. It's totally free to be in, uh, and they have all kinds of big tournaments and stuff. Also check out the Kingdom. I uh, hope it is the Kingdom as well. Same thing, lots of, of tournaments and things. So if you want to get into Steel Division, you don't have to be good. Uh, you can be a newer player. That's what a lot of these things are for. They often have like an advanced tournament and a you know a newer player tournament. So... I hope you guys are excited for this, as as excited for this as I am. I am super pumped, and they also have the new Nemesis DLC coming out, oh, hopefully in the next month or two, would be super awesome. I wouldn't expect this Men of Steel expansion until probably summer, uh, would be my guess, that because they have to record all the voices and everything, and that's what takes the longest, is finding the actors to make the voices and things. They have to reskin all the units, they have to add the things into the game that don't exist currently. The only thing I really wish they would add to this, and it doesn't look like they're going to, is another map, of course. Um, and just a quick explanation on this, because people ask me this all the time like you know wh why don't they add more maps to the game because obviously map variety is at this point probably more important than division variety and i love me noob divisions but we have 90 divisions and that's a crap ton and i recognize that too what the problem is steel division 2 is made on a really old like software system I, I don't know the details i've just been told this many times and making the maps is incredibly time consuming and incredibly difficult um and it's also very large uh, data-wise. So it increases the size of the game apparently quite significantly when adding new maps to the game. And they're trying to keep it under a certain point and, and whatever, whatever, whatever. So unfortunately, adding maps to the game is the most time-intensive thing, the least in terms, of, you know, financially, fiscally positive thing. And um, that's why we don't see maps being updated that's why we don't that's why we see the maps get touched so rarely is because it's just it's the most time consuming thing and it's apparently quite difficult for them to do uh which is one of the things they upgraded in warno so they could change maps quite readily so unfortunately i doubt it i'd you know i'll complain to the people i know but it's not going to make a difference i promise you that uh so yeah but yeah let's get excited for this one it's going to be awesome i'm so pumped they're still supporting this game so much if you guys enjoy this make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and consider checking out that patreon down below thanks a bunch and have a fantastic day.